Hello there everybody, my name is Michael Gray, and today I am playing Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Spheres. This is a fan-made Indiana Jones game, and it is the Indiana Jones Christmas game. So when I heard there was an Indiana Jones Christmas game, I decided I had to play it. So let's get started. January 1940. Ha ha! We have you now, Schweinden. I did not know how to pronounce that word. I will inform the fur that we captured Indiana Jones in some American floozy. We will be out of here before you can say sauerkraut. Ha ha! Aber natürlich, Herr Jones. He called me a floozy. A floozy! Let's not wait for them to call you a floozy again. We have to get out of here. I'll leave the details of our escape to you. Alright, so clearly this is done in the style of the earlier Indiana Jones point-and-click adventures. What is this thing? A can of herring. Look at the can of herring. It's a red herring. Okay. <laughs> um, Red herring, I get it. Can I eat it? Use it with the door. No, uh, use it with Indy. Indy, can't I use something on Indy? I can't? Wow. Uh, let's use it on Shelly. Would you like some red herring, Shelly? No thanks, I'd rather eat my socks. Okay, well she's not very friendly. Let's talk to the herring. No, uh, let's talk to Shelly. So, are you comfortable? Well, at least we're learning about Hindu mythology. I'd rather have gone to a warm library for that. I'm sorry for dragging you all the way to Nepal. Well, it does beat cleaning out the archives of the Atkinson building. We'll celebrate the holidays when we get back. Doesn't this... I mean, that screen just a while ago said this took place in January. Aren't all the holidays completely gone and past now? <laughs> we're past New Year's Eve, we're past Christmas, we're, we're past all the holidays. Any ideas on getting us out of here? You're supposed to be adventuring hero. Yeah, I am the adventuring superhero. Okay, so let's look around a bit. And we have some doorways. Okay. All right, talk to you later, Shelly. So the door, let's look at the door. No keyhole or latch. Um, mirror. Okay, that's just a mirror. Stones. The what stones? Were those were those the stones from like the second movie? I'm I'm confused here. Empty pedestal. Okay, um we're supposed to put something in the pedestal, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Look at the sturdy door. Can I use it? No, it's locked. Can I use this thing? No, can I use the mirror? Aha, I'm gonna use the mirror. Or not, I, I can't reach it. Can I use the pedestal? No. All right, let's look at the scenery here. The scenery is old and valuable. Ah, here we go, more stuff. A statue of Vishnu. What about the square hole? A large hole in the ceiling. We have a starry sky. 
The Hindu god of fire, huh? Holding a metal bowl. Well, it doesn't look like there's much here besides the lever. Let's use the lever. Okay, so clearly we need to put something inside the bowl. Let's use the herring. No. Oh, okay, never mind. Then let us go through the other exit. It's uh, this one over here. As you can see, this is sort of a short game. It really only has three rooms. We have this main room and then that small room with the Hindu god. And room number three, which we'll see in just a moment, is also a room with a Hindu god. Himavat, the god of snow and frost. So we have the god of snow and the god of fire. Right, so he's blowing something. We have pipes. We have a mask. Use the mask. All right, all right. And I think there's only one more thing for us to look at, the funnel here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's use the exit here. All right, so that's it for exploring. I know what I have to do in order to beat the game, so now I'm gonna stop exploring and actually start solving puzzles. Basically, you see this thing right here, the narrow gap? You need to look at the narrow gap. It's very narrow. Really, Indy? Really, Indy? He's not going to go in because he's afraid of snakes. What a wimp. I mean, why would you even think there are snakes there anyway? That's ridiculous. Are you hungry? Do you want to have the red herring? No. A nice candlelit dinner, huh? Okay. Rations in the plane. Yeah, but the plane is out there. Okay, so really what you have to do is call her fat. She doesn't need to eat anything. No, she doesn't. She's a little tubby. Seriously? Well, you are old and single. I'm not talking to you anymore. Ouch. Ouch! Ouch! And you're afraid of snakes. You know, I'm I'm kind of on Shelley's side. Uh, Professor Professor Indiana, Professor Jones, I should call him. That that was a little rude. Okay. All right. So you need to tell her that she might be too fat to fit in the hole in the wall. Okay, so it's a little reverse psychology or something like that. Oh sure, if you get stuck, I'll pull you out right away, fatty. Oh. Six of them. All right, so this puzzle is rather simple. You simply have to use these balls on the uh, pedestals, which have holes for balls. 
Alright, so... Does it matter what colors you use? I'm going to guess it doesn't really matter what colors you use. What? No, no, no. Hold on, Indy. Hold on, Indy. Put the green ball on top. And let's see if it does matter if the colors match. Oh, hey! It doesn't really matter if the left-hand side matches the right-hand side. Alright, that's nice. That's nice. Well, that was a simple enough puzzle. Yes! Alright, so solving the puzzle opens a small compartment. Indy is still talking. Indy, Indy takes a long time to talk, I've noticed. I can see something shiny inside. It's really shiny and pretty. Money? Maybe the game is just moving slowly. No, it's not moving slowly. I guess Indy is just slow. Okay. Let's take that thing. I found a shiny metal bar inside. Alright, so we have a metal bar. Alright, so let's take a look at this metal bar. Soft silvery metal. Pretty heavy. Pretty obvious what we should do. We should use it in the uh, metal melter. The forge. Use the metal bar in the bowl. Now we simply pull the lever. Pull the lever, Indiana! It melts and the hot melted metal runs down the hole. All right, so pour it out somewhere downstairs. Okay, so it pours out here and makes a mirror. Okay. Whoa! Did he spell woe with two H's? He did. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. Check out the reflected mirrors. We have a Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. You are so fair and lovely. I guess you're right. The compartment has something shiny inside as well. Not money, probably. Shelly, why are you obsessed with money, you fatty? <laughs> I'm so mean to poor Shelly. But we don't know anything about her besides the fact that she's obsessed with money and she's really fat. Okay. Alright, so use the compartment to pick up the uh, shiny thing. Oh, it's a valve. It's a valve. Okay, it's the valve to the pipes in the upper room on the right. So now let's solve the puzzle in that room. As you can see, water is running through the pipes. Will you look at that? So you guys remember what to do here, right? You press the mask and it makes the snow god blow, right? So now I'm going to press the mask and the statue will blow. 
and the water turns into magical Christmas snowflakes. Magical Christmas snowflakes. And it's snowing, and it's snowing, and it's snowing. So check this out, everybody. It's snowing on the Christmas tree. It's basically the most magical Indiana Jones Christmas adventure you could ever hope for. This temple keeps amazing me. Great, now it's snowing in here and I was already cold. Oh, aren't you kept warm by your layers of blubber, Shelly? Strange, what is? Well, I I've done everything. I made a mirror, placed those mystic spheres. I, I've solved all the puzzle. We have snow and jolly beams of energy. Witching, we, we still can't get out. That's against all expectations. By my theory, the the game should be over by now. Wait, what's this? Here we go. It's a magical sled. It's Santa's sled, everybody. Oh, it's a sleigh. A bright red reindeer sleigh. So I think you guys know what we have to do here. We have to use the jolly sleigh. Let's look at it first. It's a bright red sleigh. What the heck is it doing in a Hindu temple? I don't know, so let's talk to Shelly. Uh, one more time, is there anything new we can talk to her about? No, there isn't. We'll talk to her later. Actually, we won't. We'll end the game right now by using, uh, using the Jolly Sleigh. This sleigh has a button labeled Take Off. Shall we give it a try? Why not? Okay, here we go. Buckle up, Shelly! Wow! Unexpected good graphics here. Whoa! Really unexpected good graphics, considering the fact that this game runs in 320 by 200. Which is probably why I'm having so much slowdown, because, you know, running such an old resolution is not good for new computers. What did you find in the glove compartment, Shelly? What did you find? Mistletoe! Aww, and some eggnog! Happy New Year, Dr. Jones. Doctor should be capitalized. Happy New Year, Shelly. Do 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 I, I have to hum the music because it's sort of going slow. Do 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 Wishing you an inspiring and adventurous 2009 brought to us by the Fountain of Youth team, which is the team that is making their own game called Indiana Jones and the Fountain of Youth. On the side, they decided to make this the Indiana Jones Christmas game. Made in 2009, you know, it's a nice short game. I liked it. I hope you guys liked it too, so thank you very much for watching Indiana Jones and the Temple of Spheres. I might as well let the credits run. I can't imagine there are a lot of credits. It doesn't really seem like this game was made by more than, say, five people working together. Rain plugin. Adventure Game Studio. Yeah, yeah, it was made by uh, Adventure Game Studio, or in Adventure Game Studio. It's just an application that makes you uh, play adventure games. We hope you had fun playing this little joke. Little joke? 
It wasn't a joke to me. It was deadly serious. I'm serious about Christmas and enjoying Christmas. Especially Christmas in 2009. Yes. Yes, I'm very serious about this. Okay, let's just exit and end the game. Thank you for watching, everybody.